So, as you can see, I am posting a video for the first time in a while. Um, obviously, I went down the road of doing the World Cup games. Um, for the amount of effort and time I put into that, for the amount of views I was getting, it was completely irrelevant, hence why I've stopped doing it. Um, but Arsenal have just signed Greek international defender Socrates, hence why I am now doing this video. Um, I'm not gonna butcher his surname, I have no idea how you say his surname, and that's not being ignorant or, um, or anything against um, the, the Greeks because um, I just can't say it, so I'm not even going to attempt it. But yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, summertime's going well at the minute, you know. The sun's been shining for, what, three weeks now, and it's not, not going to uh, show any signs of stopping anytime soon. Arsenal have signed um, Licksteiner already. We've signed Leno already. And now we have just announced Socrates is now officially an Arsenal player. Um, like I said, I'm buzzing with that signing. Um, the fact that we've spent, what, 18 million quid or 18 million, whatever it is that we've spent on him, I think that's an absolute bargain. If you add that into the fact that Lick Steiner was free, and then obviously about the same sort of fee for Bernd Leno, we've, we've sorted out three important areas that have been lacking in that squad for a long, long time. And I'll be honest with you, I think all three of them are starters. I know Bellerin's um, a lot, lot younger, but if he don't buck his ideas up this season, then I can quite easily see Licksteiner taking his spot. So where does this leave um, Koscielny and Mustafi? Personally, I think Mustafi will still keep his spot in the first 11. I think Socrates will partner him. I think that Koscielny, if he does stay, then he's gonna be, um, he's gonna be more of a squad player next season. Um, obviously, he's got an Achilles injury that's I wouldn't say hampered his career because it hasn't, but at the same time, it's not an, it's not an easy injury to overcome. And he can never have a full season where he plays a full season consistently well because of it. So, yeah, I'm buzzing. We've got an experienced centre-back, something that we've needed um, for a long, long time at Arsenal. Like I said, I think he will partner Mustafi. I don't think we're stopping here either. Um, there's links to Torreya. People are saying that that's a done deal and it should be announced soon as the... Um, the Uruguayan national team get eliminated from the World Cup. Well, they're showing no signs of doing that yet. They're um, they're flying on and they're in the quarterfinals. So, so yeah, we shall see. It's all looking rosy at Arsenal. I'm happy. I'm so buzzing. I really, really can't wait for the World Cup to finish um, and the new season to start. Although saying that, I have really, really enjoyed this World Cup so far. It's been a fantastic World Cup. Ups and downs and stuff like that. Um, who would have seen Russia knocking Spain out the other day? Who would have seen France and Argentina, that game going the way it did, 4-3 in the end. But anyway, this is just a sideshow for the actual Premier League season. I've not been this excited about a football season with Arsenal for a hell of a long time. So you know what to do. Subscribe, like and share. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, follow my Instagram and my Twitter, LeeGunner82. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.